Good morning, Canada fans of the Olympic Games. Silver, today we win silver medals. Silver medals. That's the Case Mac winner man, by the way, who's standing backwards. And my name is Keith, and I'm in Mississauga, Ontario. And here's our opinion of what happened on day nine, Sunday, of the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. First of all, the positive, Christina Groves got the silver medal, silver medal in speed skating, so that ups our count. That was very good, very good. The men's curling, we're... Totally undefeated, first place now, and uh, that's going to be good too. The women's team, they all well, the curling they won this morning, very big, big win. However, they ended up losing, well, later in the evening. They're still in first place, but touchy, they lost to China, of course. Hmm, okay, now I watch speed cross. This is skiing, and it's pretty cool. It's a cool sport. Anybody can win this. I mean, it's a matter who falls down, who doesn't fall down. The top skiers don't always win, so it makes it exciting to not know what's going to happen. It's pretty fast and furious, I'd say. And um, anyway, Canada were this close to a medal, this close, but didn't get one. But anyway, the big story, of course, today is men's hockey. Men's hockey, they lost. They lost to the USA and the whole country is depressed. The winter man is standing backwards. You can't even face the camera this morning. It's so sad. Anyway, what ended up happening is I went down to the local pub to watch the game. And there's a bunch of people in there. They're all, the game is on, of course, and everyone's kind of half cheering for Canada. It wasn't like a big hockey crowd or nothing. But there's that one guy. You know what I mean? That one guy that's always sitting there. And when Canada are playing, he's in the background, drunk and loud, and going, What a bunch of bums! What a bunch of losers! And, you know, you just want to strangle this person. This person reminds me of Hab fans, or Leaf fans. You know, when they're winning, they're on the bandwagon. Yay, we're the best, we're the best. But when they're losing, they're bums, they're losers. And it's just like, come on, man, be positive. Let's go, team. But, uh, I don't know, that kind of bugs me. Maybe I'll watch the next game at home, because I hate hearing that one guy going telling Canada they're a bunch of bums and losers just because they're down a goal. Anyway, that's my opinion. Okay, so anyway, I'll, I will say the good part about the hockey. Watching the national team like Canada, Team Canada play against the USA is great hockey. It's fast, it's furious, it's mean, it's lean, it's, it's everything the Leafs hockey isn't. Because I'm in the Toronto area and the Leafs are just play this boring, slow brand of hockey that you just don't <laughs> You can fast forward it if it was possible. So at least that's a good part. And of course, here's the road now. The road means we play Germany um, Tuesday night for... Um, no, first round of the playoffs. And then the big game that was supposed to be the medal game for gold, Canada-Russia, is now going to be a quarterfinal, so long as Canada passes Germany. That's the bad news. So anyway, we'll see. It's a tougher road, of course, but uh, we're going to do it, and uh, hopefully everything picks up now. Better day for Canada tomorrow, let's hope. Okay, hmm. Well, i got one thing to say. I wrote this little poem that goes out to the U.S. hockey team. So I'm going to say it now and then re recap the end of uh, <laughs> this day, Sunday. They turned it into Black Sunday. Okay, okay, here it goes. Okay, you take the short road and we'll take the long road. And we'll be at the gold medal ceremonies before you. Because we and the U.S. will never meet again on the flat wooden steps of the podium.